Dear students, let us learn about equations reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables. Take an example. Solve 2 by x plus 3 by y is equal to 13 and 5 by x minus 4 by y is equal to minus 2. Observe the equations carefully. Here we have variables on the denominator. If I take it to the numerator that becomes 2 into x to the power minus 1 plus 3 y to the power minus 1 is equal to 13. And second equation becomes 5x to the power minus 1 minus 4y to the power minus 1 is equal to minus 2. Look at the power of the variable. Here power of the variable is minus 1. So these are not linear equations. Because the definition of linear equation says power of the variable or degree of the equation should be 1. So these are not linear equations. Now how to reduce this equation to linear form? Let us learn this now. We have to find the value of x and y in the given equation by first reducing them into the linear form. After that finding the value of x and y. For that let see here in both the equation we have 1 by x. So let 1 by x is equal to p some variable and let 1 by y is equal to q. You can take any variable in the place of p and q. So the equation 1 becomes 2p plus 3q is equal to 13 and equation 2 becomes 5p minus 4q is equal to minus 2. Now we got two equations. We have to solve these equations by elimination method. Now take this as equation 1 and equation 2. Write one below the other. 2p plus 3q is equal to 13. 5p minus 4q is equal to minus 2. Now, in elimination method, first we have to equalize the coefficient of any one variable. You can equalize coefficient of p also or coefficient of q also. I will multiply first equation by 4 and second equation by 3. So, the coefficient of q becomes equal. 3 4 is 12, 4 3 is 12. Multiply first equation by 4. So 4 into 2, 8p plus 4 3 is 12q is equal to 52. Multiply whole equation by 3. 
so 15p minus 4q into 3 12q is equal to minus x now look at the two equations should we change the sign or not here no need of changing the sign because in the first equation we have 12q and in the second equation we have minus 12q 12q minus 12q is equal to 0 so don't change the sign plus 12q minus 12q is 0 8p plus 15p is 23p is equal to 52 minus 6 is 46 so p is equal to 46 by 23 P is equal to 23 1s are 23 2s are. P is equal to 2. Now we got the value of one variable. That is P is equal to 2. By using this we have to find the va value of another variable that is Q. Now we have to substitute P is equal to 2 in equation 1 or 2. I will substitute in equation 2. Equation 2 is 5p minus 4q is equal to minus 2. Now p is equal to 2. So 5 into 2 minus 4q is equal to minus 2. So 10 minus 4q is equal to minus 2. Take 10 to the right side. So minus 4q is equal to minus 2 minus 10. So minus 4q is equal to minus 12. That implies q is equal to minus 12 by minus 4 minus minus cancels 4 ones are 4 threes are so q is equal to 3 now we got the value of p and q we have to use this to find the value of x and y Because in the given equation, variables are x and y, we have to find the value of x and y. We have taken 1 by x is equal to p and 1 by y is equal to q. So 1 by x is equal to p is 2 is equal to 2 and 1 by y is equal to 3 cross multiply now 1 is equal to 2x x is equal to 1 by 2 in the second one 1 is equal to 3y 
y is equal to 1 by 3. Now we got the solution for the given equation. That is value of x and y. Therefore solution is x is equal to 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 3. This is the solution of the given equation. Now solve 1 by 7x plus 1 by 6y is equal to 3 and 1 by 2x minus 1 by 3y is equal to 5. Now here we cannot take 1 by 7x as p because in the second equation we don't, don't have 1 by 7x. We have 1 by 2x. In the same way we cannot take 1 by 6y as q because in the second equation we are having 1 by 3y. So here take let 1 by x is equal to p and 1 by y is equal to q. So the first equation becomes 1 by x is p so p by 7. 7 is in the denominator so p by 7. 1 by y is q by 6 is equal to 3 and second equation becomes 1 by x is p so p by 2 minus 1 by y is q so q by 3 is equal to 5. Now in these two equations we have fractions. So remove the denominator. To remove the denominator we have to multiply first equation by the LCM of 7 and 6. LCM of 7 and 6 is 42. And multiply second equation by LCM of 2 and 3. LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Multiply all the terms of first equation by 42. So p by 7 into 42 is 7 1s are 7 6 are 6 p plus q by 6 into 42. 6 1s are 6 7 are 7 q is equal to 3 into 42 is 126. Now, p by 2 into 6, we have to multiply all the terms, 2 ones are, 2 threes are, so 3p minus q by 3 into 6, that is 2q, then 5 into 6, that is 30. Now fractions are removed. We can solve the equations by elimination method. Now take first equation as equation 1 and second equation as equation 2. Now we have to solve these two equations by elimination method. Write one below the other. 6p plus 7q is equal to 126.
and 3p minus 2q is equal to 30. Now equalize the coefficients. I will equalize the coefficient of p for that. I will multiply second equation by 2 because 3 2 are 6. So we have to write first equation as it is 6p plus 7q is equal to 126 and second equation multiply all the terms by 2. 2 3s are 6, 6p minus 4q is equal to 60. Now coefficients of p are equal. Now if you add the two equations p variable term won't get cancelled so we have to change the sign so 6p minus 6p is 0 change the sign of all the terms of the second equation we cannot change the sign of one term so 6p minus 6p is 0 7q plus 4q is 11q 126 minus 60 is 66. So Q is equal to 66 by 11. Q is equal to 6. Now substitute. Q is equal to 6. In equation 1 or 2. I will substitute in equation 2 that is 3p minus 2q is equal to 30 3p minus 2 into 6 is equal to 30 3p minus 12 is equal to 30 3p is equal to 30 plus 12 3p is equal to 42 P is equal to 42 by 3. 3 14s are 42. So we got P is equal to 14. Q is equal to 6. Now we have taken 1 by X is equal to P and 1 by Y is equal to Q. So 1 by X is equal to 6. Sorry, 1 by x is equal to 14, 1 by y is equal to 6. Because value of p is 14, value of q is 6. If you cross multiply, 1 is equal to 14x and 1 is equal to 6y. So x is equal to 1 by 14 and y is equal to 1 by 6. Therefore, solution is... x is equal to 1 by 14 and y is equal to 1 by 6. This is the solution of the given equation. Let us do one more. Solve 5 by x plus 6y is equal to 13. And 3 by x plus 4y is equal to 7. See here, power of x is minus 1 here. Power of y is 1. x is in the denominator. So let 1 by x is equal to p. We can keep y as it is or we can take y is equal to q. Or we can write y as y only because here power of y is 1. Now the first equation becomes 5p plus 6q 
is equal to 13 and second equation becomes 3p plus 4q is equal to 7. Now we got two equations. Write it as equation 1 and equation 2. Now solve these two equations by elimination method. 5p plus 6q is equal to 13. 3p plus 4q is equal to 7. Look at the coefficient of p, 5 and 3, coefficient of q, 6 and 4. To equalize coefficient of p, I have to multiply first equation by 3, second equation by 5. You can equalize the coefficient of q also. For that, you should multiply first equation by 4, second equation by 6. Now, first equation becomes 3 5s are 15p plus 18q is equal to 39 and 15p plus 20q is equal to 35. Now in both the equation we have 15p and 15p. We have to change the sign otherwise it won't get cancelled. Now change the sign of all the terms of the second equation. So 15p minus 15p is 0. 18q minus 20q is minus 2q. 39 minus 35 is 4. q is equal to 4 by minus 2. Plus divided by minus is minus 2 1s are 2 2 are. Q is equal to minus 2. Now substitute Q is equal to minus 2 in equation 1 or 2. Now, equation 2 is 3p plus 4q is equal to 7. So, 3p plus 4 into minus 2 is equal to 7. 3p plus into minus is minus 4 to 0. 8 is equal to 7. 3p is equal to 7 plus 8. 3p is equal to 15. So, p is equal to 15 by 3. 3 1s are 3 5s are. So, p is equal to 5. And q is equal to minus 2. Now, we have taken 1 by x as p. So, 1 by x becomes 5 and y becomes minus 2. So 1 is equal to 5 into x that is 5x. x is equal to 1 by 5. y is equal to minus 2. Therefore solution is x is equal to One by five and y is equal to minus two.
this is the solution of given equation now take one more equation solve 5 by x minus 1 plus 1 by y minus 2 is equal to 2 and 6 by x minus 1 minus 3 by y minus 2 is equal to 1. Now here let us take 1 by x minus 1 is equal to p and 1 by, 1 by y minus 2 is equal to q. So, first equation becomes 5p plus 1q or we can write as q is equal to 2 and second equation becomes 6p minus 3q is equal to 1. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now solve this equation by elimination method. 5p plus 1q is equal to 2. 6p minus 3q is equal to 1. Here it is easier to equalize the coefficient of q. If I multiply by 3 that becomes 3q. Multiply all the terms by 3. So 15p plus 3q is equal to 6 and 6p minus 3q is equal to 1. See here equal terms 3p and uh, sorry 3q and 3q they have different signs. So 3q minus 3q is 0. No need of changing the sign here. 15p plus 6p is 21 21p is equal to 6 plus 1 is 7. So P is equal to 7 by 21. 7 ones are 7 threes are. So P is equal to 1 by 3. We got value of one variable. Now substitute P is equal to 1 by 3. In equation 1 or 2. In equation 1. So 5p plus 1q is equal to 2. 5 into 1 by 3 is a plus 1q is equal to 2 5 is to be multiplied to the numerator that is 5 by 3 plus 1q is equal to 2 so 1q is equal to 2 minus 5 by 3 1q is q only so q denominator is 3 2 is the whole number. Multiply with the denominator. 2 3 are 6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1 by 3. So Q is 1 by 3. Now we have taken 1 by X minus 1 as P and 1 by Y minus 2 as Q value is 1 by 3. So 1 by x minus 1 is equal to 1 by 3 
वन बै वै मैनस टू इज ईक्वल टू वन बै थ्री क्रॉस मल्टिप्लै नौ वन थ्री जार थ्री इज ईक्वल टू एक्स मैनस वन इंटू वन वन इंटू थ्री इज थ्री वन इंटू वै मैनस टू सो थ्री इज ईक्वल टू वन एक्स मैनस वन एंड थ्री इज ईक्वल टू वन वै मैनस टू सो एक्स इज ईक्वल टू थ्री प्लस वन दट ईज एक्स इज ईक्वल टू फोर एंड वै इज ईक्वल टू थ्री प्लस टू वै इज ईक्वल टू फाइव therefore solution is x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 5 now let us do one more solve 3 by x plus y plus 2 by x minus y is equal to 2 and 9 by x plus y minus 4 by x minus y is equal to 1 now let 1 by x plus y is equal to p and 1 by x minus y as q now the first equation becomes three p plus two q is equal to 2 and second equation becomes 9p minus 4q is equal to 1 take it as equation 1 and 2 now solve these equations by elimination method 3p plus 2q is equal to 2. Write one below the other. 9p minus 4q is equal to 1. Now I will multiply first equation by 2. So the coefficient of q becomes equal. 2 to 0. Now the first equation becomes 2 3 0 6p. Plus 4q is equal to 4, and second equation becomes 9p minus 4q is equal to 1. Now see here, plus 4q minus 4q getting cancelled. Don't change the sign here. 6p 6p plus 9p is 15p. Four plus one is five, so p is equal to five by fifteen. Five one zero, five three zero. So p is equal to one by three. Now substitute. P is equal to one by three. In equation one, so three p plus two q is equal to two three into One by three plus two q is equal to two. Three 
3 into 1 by 3 is 1 plus 1 plus 2q is equal to 2 2q is equal to 2 minus 1 2q is equal to 1 q is equal to 1 by 2 we got the value of another variable that is q is equal to 1 by 2 now we have taken 1 by x plus y is equal to p and 1 by x minus y as q. Now 1 by x plus y is equal to 1 by 3. 1 by x minus y is equal to 1 by 2. So cross multiply 3 is equal to 1 into x plus y that is x plus y 1 into 2 is 2 1 into x minus y is x minus y now we have two equations here 3 and 4 we have two unknown terms that is x and y we have to solve these equations by elimination method x plus y is equal to 3 x minus y is equal to 2 plus y minus y gets cancelled x plus x is 2x 3 plus 2 is 5 so x is equal to 5 by 2 now substitute x is equal to 5 by 2 in equation 3 so 3 is equal to 5 by 2 plus y y is equal to 3 minus 5 by 2 y is equal to 2 3 are 6 minus 5 by 2 therefore y is equal to 1 by 2 x is equal to 5 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 2 is the solution therefore solution is x is equal to 5 by 2 y is equal to 1 by 2